Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away I Hi everyone, welcome back to Jesse at Home. Today's video is a little different than something that I normally do. I am sharing cleaning up my house before Malcolm's first birthday party. We had a huge birthday party here at the house outside by the pool and I needed to get the inside and the outside cleaned up um, in preparation for that. So I'm going to be doing some cleaning in the main living areas. I'm going to be doing some food prep and I'm going to show you the whole party setup and having his cake and um, just all, all kinds of things that I normally don't share on this channel. I'm sharing with you. Malcolm wanted to help me so I just gave him the little um, swiver extender with my little mop sack on the end. I still haven't gotten any refills for it but this mop sack has actually done really well and I just throw it in the washing machine it catches the dust. Um, it's not as good as the Swiffer refills, but it's definitely um, nice to just throw on the end when I want to reach the hard to reach places. So while I was busy cleaning up inside, my husband was outside like working so hard to get the outside ready because we were having a pool party for Malcolm. So we wanted to like clean the concrete around the pool and just like really give everything a good washing because we had had some rain here and there and it just got really kind of gross out there. So we wanted to make sure that it was clean out there as well. And this is the moment, you know, I've been having a like a lot of hard times lately. Um, this is the moment that Malcolm knocked over my camera and it officially died on me. So I had to switch over to my phone. So for the rest of this video is uh, phone footage. So it just looks a little bit different than my camera footage. To me anyway, I'm just used to seeing the difference. So um, I am back to filming everything on my phone. I'm very lucky that I have a decent um, phone, but until my camera can get sent away to get fixed, I'm just going to be filming back on my phone. Um, so, like I said, we've been having some bad luck recently, but you just got to roll with it and just keep on trucking because with bad, eventually some good, some good will come. You got to have uh, highs and lows, ups and downs, but I was just going to keep on getting this house clean because there was no sense in pouting about it. I still had to get things done. So I get a lot, well I had to show Malcolm's little handprints here that I, wanted, that I wanted to clean up. But I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, why do I always do big parties? Um, and how do I do it? It's so overwhelming. And let me tell you, it is overwhelming. It's a lot. It's a lot of planning and it's a lot of, sometimes you just got to know, you know, when to just get some store-bought things and when to DIY and when to, um, you know, just 
just let things go. Sometimes you want to do a balloon arch and sometimes you just don't have enough time so you don't do it. Um, I ended up doing a huge balloon arch and some balloons and it was windy so I ended up not even using them at all. You just got to go with the flow. But my mom um, always did these really fun big parties. Um, in some years it was literally like Dollar Tree and Walmart balloons and decorations of whatever character we liked and it was at the house and we had all our friends there and it was just so fun and so memorable she always made our birthdays so fun and memorable and some years we went big and we had it at the trampoline park or like those like playtime alleys discovery zone Chuck E. cheeses like whatever those like play areas are we would have it there or, or just like at the zoo i think we did it one year um we just always had really really fun birthdays and so i i've always tried to do um, the same for my children. Now, as my teenagers have gotten older, they wanted more like intimate family birthday parties or they just wanted to do an experience or a trip. So we've pivoted and we've done pretty much whatever they want. Um, Madeline has put out some feelers that she would like to do like a little sweet 16 party. So I'm going to be working on that for December. But I knew that I wanted to have a big, massive one year birthday celebration for Malcolm. And I knew it was going to be for me because I wanted to celebrate the fact that we made it through the first year. He is an amazing kid. He is awesome. But it had been such an adjustment um, having my third kids in my 30s versus my 20s and I just wanted to celebrate him I want to celebrate me I want to celebrate, celebrate my husband that we made it through the the first year and um I wanted to do a big fun party so we we decided to do um you know celebrate Malcolm's first trip around the sun I thought that was so clever especially since we did a twinkle twinkle little star baby shower his room is space themed and then um, I just figured it would be nice to round out the space and that chapter, round out the space and then um, with the first trip around the sun. So um, that is the theme that we're going with and I'm super excited about it. My way, my way, my way. 
so I pretty much take the first or the week before we have a big event at the house mm, maybe about two or three days before people come and I like to like deep clean the areas that I know that people are gonna be hanging out at so especially the the powder room the living room and like the kitchen area Malcolm's you know play area of course he had to come in and see what I was doing um, and he's so into the toilet and I don't want to make the toilet a off you know hands-off area because we're gonna be potty training you know I don't want to scare him away from the toilet but I also didn't want him hanging out when I was trying to like clean it as well but um, so I always try to like do deeper cleans in the, in the public spaces so that the day of the party I'm not running around like crazy and like having to do a bunch of nitpicky like cleaning things I can just send my husband in and he can like clean the powder room and I know that it's going to be really clean because I did a deeper clean in there so um, that's what I'm doing it took me two days but I went around um, I only filmed two rooms of it sorry um, but I went around and I deep cleaned areas that way day of I could just kind of wipe everything down and it would be fine So I had to run out here and share some of this um, really satisfying power washing that he was doing because it just, I can't believe how dingy and dirty because you guys saw me be earlier in the season do all of this as well so it gets so filthy out here and it really does um, make a difference especially when we have big parties if we go ahead and clean it because we don't want any of this getting um, muddy like this but from people coming in the pool and then coming down here and getting everything like muddy and then jumping back in the pool and then getting the pool muddy so um, we always try to do this before a big party as well um, oh and here is the little DIY like I said some things I can DIY some things I just I can't I bought a ton of his um, things on Amazon his decorations on Amazon but this is something that I could add a personal touch and also this can go into his baby book because I do scrapbook and I've been working on his baby book so these can go in there as well I can just insert them in um, so it's like dual like decor and then also I can I can use it later but I thought these were so cute and easy I did buy the the templates which I could have made them on my Cricut but I did buy the templates on Amazon so all I had to do was print out the pictures and tape them on so I mean I'm calling it a DIY because I I did I did tape them on myself and I did string them on a string you'll see them later when I kind of go over all of the decor so So I am just making a quick pasta salad. I love doing family favorites and things I can just make without even thinking for parties. Um, I don't usually try new recipes. I kind of just always serve the same things. Maybe occasionally I'll throw in a new thing here or there. Um, but I just like tried and true. I like things that I can kind of make just without even thinking about it and I know it's good and I know it's just gonna be a hit so I am making this pasta salad which is my brother's favorite and my favorite I just feel like pasta salad is summer um, I like using the white 
um, pasta rotini noodles. Sometimes I've, I've used bow tie, but I do like just the, the rotini and I like the white because it, the vegetables pop off. I like using all kinds of vegetables. As you can see, I like cutting my broccoli into little bite-sized pieces. Um, that way it really soaks in the, um, the Italian dressing. Um, I had carrots in there. No one likes carrots, but they never complain, and I just like the color of the carrots. I like um, using these mini cucumbers as well. I just think they look really pretty in there. Um, I use a little bit of banana peppers, some cherry tomatoes. Um, I use three types of cheeses, sharp, Monterey Jack, and mozzarella. Now the mozzarella balls, I had to laugh. I usually just get a block of mozzarella, but they gave me the balls of mozzarella, but like the snacking ones. So I had to unwrap all of these mozzarella balls out of these like snack packs and then cut, then cut them in half just so it would be a little bit easier um, to eat. But I just love all the colors and the veggies in the pasta salad. So I am going to be making a fruit tray as well and I'm not showing me like washing all the fruit but I do end up washing all of the fruit um, and I was debating if I should leave some of the grapes on stems or not. Um, I always like adding a little bit of either kale or this like green leaf lettuce around the edge because I feel like it makes it look a little bit more professional um, on the trays and I got the big um, catering trays from Sam's Club. Um, I just like things to look really pretty and really like presentable. So I'm just going to grab some grapes and the washed blueberries. I'm going to cut up the washed strawberries um, and just kind of make a really, really, really pretty um, fruit tray. And the fruit never lasts. People eat it up so fast. I'm aiming for the sky. Don't let me down. Don't let me down Don't let me down Don't let me down Before the sky Everyone got stories So let's start this 
This was my first time using this pineapple core. I know it's been around for a while. I usually just kind of slice my pineapple. Um, but I feel like I kind of lose a lot of it. So I am definitely a convert. This pineapple core, I didn't go far enough down in there. That's why it doesn't look like it. I got very much of the pineapple out. So I'm going to go back in there again and, um, and get the rest out because it's the first time using it. But I'm definitely a convert because it really got all of the best bits of the pineapple and it was so easy and it took so much less time than if I had to um, like cut out all of the pineapple individually. So I like a lot of color in my veggie tray as well. So I'm using some already um, cut up cauliflower. I'm just chopping it up in a better bite sized pieces, some carrots. Um, I'm gonna use different colored peppers and broccoli and celery and um, just really layer it up because I, when I'm outside in the heat, I love um, vegging out with some veggies and dip, but you know, I just really like making my own versus buying the trays in the store. I feel like you get more bang for your buck. And here is all of the decor. Um, the, the cupcakes I got from Walmart. I think they make amazing cupcakes. Um, the smash cake I got from Walmart. The macarons I got from Etsy. I'll link that shop down below. And the custom cookies I also got from Etsy as well. I'll make sure to link that shop too. Um, none of this is sponsored or anything even though she did spell his name wrong on there but we have hot dogs and barbecue chicken we have pulled pork we have um baked beans and corn and my, my homemade mac and cheese and we have of course the pasta salad potato salad my dad made um cucumbers and vinegar then my veggie trays and um here is the little setup of everything Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. And here is the aftermath. This is the day after. We kind of left a lot of things. We cleaned up the food. But we left everything else till the next day because we, our friends stayed late. So we kind of hung out and let Malcolm play. And now um, it was the 4th of July. So we were planning on going on the boat. So we wanted to get as much cleaned up as we could. Um, I love those like folding tables from Walmart because they just break down so easily. So my husband and I came out here and cleaned up everything else. So we could just have a nice reset before going and enjoying a family day. I will link the chafing dishes that I have as well. If you entertain a lot, it is totally worth it to invest in some nice stainless steel ones. These have been used, I think, twice now. Um, I used to buy the disposable kind, 
but then it was kind of a hassle to store so I just got this big tub from Target and everything like folds down and nestles in each other so it's really easy to store in there um, and then I love those table covers I also got from Amazon as well I have some that look more like wedding-y that aren't so form-fitting to the tables there is like a skirt with like pleating and then I have these other black ones that are more like form-fitting and I feel like a more casual look to hide the table legs I can't tell you how thankful I am for this two-door refrigerator my husband saved from the landfill. He fixed it, and so now we get to enjoy it. Um, he got it last year, so we get to enjoy it, and I can keep all of our refrigerated stuff in here, and it's just cold drinks in here, and yes, there's some adult beverages um, because we sometimes like to indulge while we're out in the pool, by the pool. Um, but I just like having that fridge there. We can keep hot dogs or something easy to throw on the grill. It's just really, really nice. We are eventually going to build and extend the counter in the back um, and kind of enclose the refrigerator. But for now, it kind of kind of hangs out in the back. My, my parents got Malcolm this little grill kitchen set. I'm so excited about it. He, as you can see, is so excited about it as well. He could not wait to play with it. Um, my husband tr only trusts me with the stickers, so that was my job to put the stickers on, and then he was going to build the rest. Thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> Malcolm stole my phone. It was on the on the couch. He doesn't get to have our phones. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, Has you enjoyed this? If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I do have some fun room refreshes coming up. I'm very excited about it because it totally changes the entire vibe of the room. Like I'm just obsessed and I cannot wait to share it with you so definitely hit that um, subscribe subscribe button and the notification notification bell I'm so sorry I cannot talk hit the notification bell because YouTube will not notify you unless you hit the notification and receive all notifications that way you can keep up to date with all of my craziness going on um, I have a lot of fun things coming up and I uh, will see you next time